Hello, this is Heather Hoffman, and today I thought it would be fun to show you a little peek at how I organize my kid of the month. Um, so when your kid of the month arrives, usually you'll see it like this. It's in a large Ziploc bag. It's a full eight and a half by 11 sheet of red rubber. So I buy just inexpensive sheet protectors there. And this is a sheet of 110 pound cardstock. You can use any weight. I like the little bit sturdier weight um, just because it seems to hold the weight of the stamps a little bit better. Then the first thing I do, I kind of organize pretty close to how they are already stamped on the sheet of red rubber. But I like to kind of pull everything off and just kind of arrange it before I um, attach anything down because that way I can easily move. Sometimes I decide to wiggle things around and kind of place them a little bit different um, just depending on how everything fits on there and the size of the image. And um, so it gives me kind of some space to play with it a little bit. So I've just about got all those popped off and it's almost like um, <laughs> popping a puzzle um, apart. You can just kind of pop each piece out. Some people even save some of those negative pieces um, and use them um, for other techniques and different things. I generally don't. Sometimes I'll save like a negative space out of a stamp if it's a, a fun shape that I can use for something. But So this is kind of a perfect example of one time that I kind of played around and rearranged it a little bit different just to fit on my space just a little bit easier. So not that hard, but um, that way I, once I'm happy with the way it's all arranged, um, kind of wiggle them all around. Then I start peeling off the backing. And generally I kind of work my way around the edges. Quite often I'll do the four corners and then just start working in around the outer and then finish on the middle when I get to that part. But I'll just kind of keep wiggling it around and peeling those off. And the great thing is um, with this storage, it's very inexpensive. It's very quick and easy. Um, the entire length of this video I sped it up a little bit, but it took me a total of five minutes to completely organize this kit of the month. Um, that can vary maybe a tiny bit, um, depending on if there's more small images or larger images or anything like that. Um, but it really doesn't take me very long when my kit comes. And then I can pull it out like this. By keeping it on a backing like this, I'm gonna protect the back of those stamps so that they keep their um, stickiness and adhesive. They're easy to wash off and clean if they lose their cling, but this keeps dust from getting on them and just keeps them in good shape. Um, this is also a great way to organize other of your stamps if you like. These work particularly well for the larger kits just because they already come in an eight and a half by 11. Um, so it's already the perfect size for these sheet protectors. Then I always kind of lift it up and shake it to make sure I didn't miss any little images. So anyway, I hope this gives you an idea um, of a way that you can store your kits. Slide them right back in the bag. Um, you can put them in a binder as well. I generally just keep them stored in the bag. Nice and easy and works for me. Thanks for coming by. Have a wonderful day today.